Hi there, it's Fabian speaking and this is a demo for a new tool I wrote. It's called Timer Map Source. And to show you what it does, um, I will just show you how I set up this example here. As you can see, there are only three layers, a camera, a light and my magic layer. Um, got the timer mapping enabled and there's the expression that the script applies. And now I can con I control the displayed source layer just by this one slider. So if I change something right now, you can see stuff happens. How does it work? The number of the slider corresponds to the frame within this precomp. So if my slider is at 16, you get frame 16 of the pre of the precomp. Let's set this up so you can see how this works. I already got this example, so I don't have to show you how to set up text layers and distribute them in ZSpace. Here we go. Just open the timer map source script. There you got a help button that shows a help. The do it button that does the timer mapping and this text field. In this text field you can define or set the new name of your of your new comp. It's my new pre comp text. Then you have to select the layers in the order you want them to be stacked, like this. So I select the one, go up, hold shift, go up to the time remapping and hit do it. So there we go. Now you just have to make it 3D and collapse it. And you got this view control slider and with this slider, wait, I make it a bit bigger, don't need this anymore. With this slider, you can now set the, the number for the displayed layer. You can keyframe it from zero to 16. And now I got 16 layers and there we go. And then you can put in some frames to hold at a, some keyframes to hold at a different, at a certain point. One important thing, it only works with layers that are one frame long. So right now you can't add any uh, animation in here. I'm working on it, but give me some time. One, another thing, if you need to add some more layers, so we're here, duplicate this. Uh, let's offset this by this and yes, it is. And duplicate this one again, offset it, uh, stack it. Now offset it to minus 400. And we, if we go back into our comp, the expression is already aware that you have uh, some more layers in there. So you don't have to change anything in the expression. You just add some layers, make them, oops, where are we? Make them uh, one frame long. And here we go. Yes, it is time remapping. Oh. Uh, how I got the the shadow? Just add a solid. Make it also three D. Rotate it, and here we go. That's it. Have fun time remapping 
and uh, do some nice animations.